Hello, welcome back to Armchair Armory. Before I begin, I want to um, share my sympathies with the rest of the royal family here in the UK and probably a lot of people around the country, including myself, as um, we heard earlier on today, just before the start of the second half of the game, actually, that um, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II has passed away. It's really shocking because um, obviously throughout my life, 35 years on the planet, um, she's been the one constant there. And uh, a strong woman and a person we should all look up to. And um, it's incredibly sad. So rest in peace, Your Majesty. It finished at the, I forgot the name of the stadium now, the Kyburn, yeah, Kyburn Park, FC Zurich 1, Arsenal 2. Uh, to be honest, after the news, it was hard for me to concentrate fully on the second half, but um, I would say that it was a pretty, it was, it, was a, it was a decent performance in places, but not really anything to write home about as such. There was seven changes from the loss to Man United, including um, debuts, starting debuts for Fabio Vieira and Marquinhos, um, who worked very well to create the first goal and allow Marquinhos to score on his first team debut. To be honest, they, those two were probably the, the shining lights of the of today's game. I thought they were really good. Um, you know. The, the run Marquinhos made to get in behind the Zurich defender to make it 1-0 was, was, was absolutely amazing. And the ball that Fabio Vieira put in for Nketiah was, was amazing as well. So in that sense, that was one of the positives to come out of it. I felt that we started off quite slowly. They seemed to be pegging us back quite a lot. Well, they, they didn't dominate the ball, but they, but they seemed to be kind of dealing with our pressure. And it felt like we weren't really that clinical enough. Nketiah... Uh, conceded a penalty in the just before the end of the first half, which they equalised, which brings me on to the goalkeeper. So we had Matt Turner in goal today, uh, in for Aaron Ramsdale. And um, yeah, it's hard for me to go too hard on him, but it seems as if like, yeah, there was, I, Gabriel probably shouldn't have put him in that position, that there was a pass back from Gabriel in the first half that like he completely fluffed and um, I forget who was there to cover it, but if they weren't there, then it probably would have been 1-0 to Zurich at that point. Um, he looks a bit dodgy, he looks a bit nervous. Maybe it was because it was his first like competitive start, I don't know. Um, but yeah, but there, so, second, so we go in 1-1, come out in the second half, pretty much dominating the play again. This time, um, across from Marquinhos with Nketiah get, getting on the end of it. Um, it was a good header, good finish from Nketiah, actually. But yeah, it was a decent performance. I think we, we looked good. The one thing I really wanted to see was this quote-unquote second-string team come in and do really well, because I think this is what we're... Unless injuries, barring any injuries, I can imagine this is going to be what at least for the group stages the the Euro, in the Europa League the the starting lineups are probably going to be very similar if not the same as this so um it'll be interesting to see what team Arteta puts across against PSV next week but yeah I don't necessarily see him changing it too much um I think it probably will be very similar um the only thing that may change is obviously Martinelli played, Lukonga played, Jacker played. So there is a possibility that because they're playing in the league, things might change there. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But as I say, a decent performance, nothing to really write home about. Um, I'm glad we got away and we've got our um, Europa League campaign off to a winning start. Uh, I think in the Europa League, PSV will probably be the hardest team team to play, both home and away. So. Um, it's basically I, I don't want to speak too soon but I basically think that the group stage is down to either us or PSV finishing top the real important game is Everton on Sunday because we have to bounce back from Man United the good that's another good thing about today as well is that we've we've won the game um, and sort of puts Man United it will not to, well, it kind of half puts Man United to bed in a way the loss to Man United to bed so 
that's a good thing. But the most important thing is at the Emirates on Sunday, getting that three points against Everton. As I say, decent to get the, the three points and get the first win of the Europa League campaign over the line. But on to Sunday, we've got to beat Everton and then Brentford before the international break. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I will be back on Saturday to preview the Everton game. So until then, take care and stay safe.